that was so sick yesterday. What do you guys think of that many rigs on course, that kind of competition? Love it. You love well, it? I want to do it more it? and more. It's awesome. Who didn't like it? See you later. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's changing. We're evolving the sport, you know. Hopefully we can incorporate more of this kind of racing because it's the most exciting and, you know, some of the baddest ass shit I've seen ever. Uh, what a hell of a show you guys put on. So, modern problems require modern solutions. And, uh, you know, we knew we'd have some issues getting people on course at the same time like that. Uh, we put this course up fast, these ribbons, you know, we're all learning how to do this together. The problems that were presented, um, skirting these cones. You know, we had a couple people go right up the middle of that Turtle Rock, the easy line. That's not gonna happen today. Um, you can certainly do it, but you'll be watching Havoc from the sidelines. Uh, we're not doing that here. You've got to take the hard line if you want to be uh, a Havoc racer. So I'll leave it at that. Don't have anything else to say about that. Um, stay, stay on the hard line. I guess I do have more to say. If you attempt that hard line and you slide off and you hit a cone, keep on going. But don't don't attempt an easy line because we're gonna call you on it. Front tires like that. So yeah, that's yeah. what I was gonna say. Three tires through the gate, two Three fronts tires and one through, rear at least. Pretty slippery and violent. I could see two back tires getting out on something like yeah. that. Okay. But you got to attempt the hard line, and if we, you know, two we want everybody clean. to do well. Two fronts so. clean. Yeah. Yeah. Two, two fronts clean. No. No fucking bullshit. Yep. Yep. Jerry.
Okay, is he coming?
Moose Knuckle. No. Broken rigs. <laughs> that moon bug is broke down in the corner. Back, back on there. Cool. Yeah. 
fucking race that I've ever seen in my life, man. This is the coolest shit, man. I guess everybody else is overheating too. Uh, I think we're just the only ones willing to say, fuck it, we'll blow it up. <laughs> we'll build another junkyard motor. <laughs> what lap is this? Uh, this is it. All we gotta do is go across the finish line right there. Oh, we're done. We're gonna see I it. I think we're a lap up on everyone right now, so. Steaming, it means it's that, out of uh, water. That noggles? Mm-hmm.
So we'll clean it out and uh, clean the radiator, fill it with coolant, and I think it'll be fine again. They did the same thing at Insanity Fab, but Ricky said, no, I'm done. He's like, I'm not going to ruin it. And I enforced Brent. I said, no, you keep running this thing. As long as it'll move, we're moving. So yeah, that's, that's what we came here for. <laughs> Cleaning my logo I'd wipe it off, off a little me. better, but <laughs> I was trying to get all of it so people could see. That's a good spot for you guys to be sitting too. For uh... the problem is, is when you don't get out in front, your radiator gets full of mud. So everyone, like by the time we were right up here, you know, we're coolant temp was already climbing. By lap two, we were already over 220 degrees. So you know, a standard day of rock crawling, the thing never gets over 180. So when you're not moving that fast, and then you were like, I mean, you get cool down maybe a bit on the. Well, and 
Well, gone, no, because the radiator is 100% covered right now. Okay, well, um, so gone. there is zero so airflow right going across it. it. Well, engine oils will kept the motor alive while it had no coolant in it anymore. <laughs> I really do swear by that stuff. Unfortunately, we weren't even doing anything super cool. We uh, put it in reverse and I think we sheared some torque converter bolts uh, or took out the flex plate for sure. Um, but yeah, we threw it in reverse and had a little bit of tire speed and lost everything. I'm here with Brent Harrell, the only survivor of deep freeze. How do you feel about that finish, Brent? I'm feeling pretty great right now. It's the first race I've ever took first in, so I'm on cloud nine. So there was eight total buggies at the very start. I unfortunately was one that did not survive and these guys were pushing hard. Noggle, I have to ask you, I mean, you are the pilot of your own buggy. You're letting uh, you know a young driver drive it. How did it feel to be in the passenger seat and you know, you're helping, but you, you can't, you don't have control over the whole buggy. I don't need control. He's a hell of a driver. I just run that shifter and and uh, just same as me and Ricky do and everything works out just fine. Well, you can definitely tell these are our only two finishers. Well, the only finishers in the same buggy and I think that they secured their spot to uh, compete at Mountain Havoc. Brent, is there anything you'd like to say? I want to thank Jeff for being a badass co-pilot. Couldn't have done it without him. Thank you to Mountain Mafia for putting on a great race. You know, most fun one they've done yet. I want to thank Ams Oil and keeping the buggy running. See you guys at Mountain Havoc 2020. Water hole, it got real deep before the rocks. Oh, yeah. I tried to high steer it, come yeah. up around Joel, and inside. and went right over and here buried the whole cab on my side. <laughs> I'm buying those air tanks for scuba diving, those little one piece ones for now on. That's horrible. Are we the last one running? Yeah. Copy that, thank you. I'm not sure anybody's still moving. We got a winch in front of Joel here. Not that I know of. Both are. We did it. How much for the winch over? I don't like that. Hey, great save over there where he almost rolled us on two tires. And even that, did you see that? No. At the, at the, when we were driving on the, coming into the turn, he was on two tires all the way to the jump almost. He almost rolled us right there at the very beginning. Yeah, I hope that's on video. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Incredible. What do you guys think? You want to come back for another one of these? Yeah. Every yeah. year? Tomorrow. Yeah, I, I've heard all day this is the funnest driving I've I've ever done. I've heard it from guys that've been in Havoc and guys that, you know, you guys Kelowna snow wheelers that do all kinds of uh, those crazy snow events. You're not used to this, but uh, I think you're hooked. What do you say? Incredible. Thank you guys. You guys are the ones growing this with us. We really appreciate it. So we're gonna give out some prizes. Third place. Devin Villeneuve. Incredible, man. Guy shows up, checks out the property, flips his rig, pulls the studs on the lifters, or on the rockers, fixed it. Incredible. So third place, we got some prizes from Warren, Max, Western Canadian Rockwell, and Mountain Mafia. And Rugged Radios and AL Compressed Gases with Miller Welders. That's you right there. Hang out for a second. We'll get all you guys up here. Check out Big Trucks, Low Bucks. That's Alan Lumberg. I know you've seen him online. He does awesome videos. Orville with Ibex. Ibex off-road videos now, right? Drop the cycles. Ibex off-road. Well, where's Cindy? Right there. Check out her videos. 
Check out Full Size Invasion. Got a couple of those guys up here today. Our friends Cooper and Jared and Allison. You guys know Jared Jones. He covers Havoc for us. All right, second place, Joel Villeneuve. Where are you? I've heard about this dude for many years. That Kelowna Snow Wheelers finally, he came, I, I think he came to watch Havoc, but he finally got here in a rig. You check this place out. Impressed us all weekend long. Broke his rig coming back in a buggy, is that correct? Definitely. All right, qualified for Havoc. Congratulations, guys. Fastest man of the weekend driving the Hertz rental buggy, Brent Harrell. Guy could not be touched all weekend long. Youngest driver of the event. Part of team change order. Part of Northwest off-road rage that we do down in Oregon. That's also another Havoc qualifier. Congratulations, you guys. Again, prizes from Max, Warren, Miller, Western Canadian Rockwell, AL Compressed Gases, and the Mountain Mafia. We gotta bring Kyle Walton up from Axle Busters. He's gonna talk about this event. He's gonna tell you what he thinks. Yeah. <laughs> He's also gonna announce the Badass Award. Hey guys, man, what, what an event. I mean, it was, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, what an event, you guys. This is the first time that any of us have done this. I mean, uh, in, at Havoc or at the, with the Mountain Mafia guys, this is crazy. This is, this is the coolest, coolest race that I've ever raced in and then witnessed you guys in the final heat it was ridiculous like there were, I didn't even know where to look there was so much going on I was like that look at oh shit you know what I mean you're trying to film something you're trying to look and you're trying to it's it was incredible it's incredible and you guys you know put it laid it all online and the guy that really laid it all online and uh, all the drivers that's how we, we get this badass award this Axle Busters Badass Award, how we give it away is all the drivers decide on who it is, and the guy who wins it for the Deep Freeze event is going to be Devin, because you, you laid it out on the line, dude. It was crazy. There you go, man. Thank you. Congratulations. That was uh, super impressive. Super impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the most impressive driving I've seen, especially for a guy. He's never, he, he wheels in the snow, right? But you can see the both these guys. I mean, they know how to wheel, and you can see it out there. They're not mud wheelers, they're snow wheelers. They came out here, and you, they just put on a show. And like I said, Devin, that is super impressive for you to flip your rig over. You know, super unfortunate inc incident, but you, you self-recovered yourself, yep. and then you came back, and then you went into the heat, and then you flipped over again, almost twice. Maddie, you saved him. Because yeah, uh, <laughs> that was your part of this, because we'll, 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 everybody will see the videos when yep. it's on on, on, uh, on uh, social medias. But you were wheel standing, man, and that's what, that was what got you. I couldn't yeah. believe it. Hey, guys, how you guys doing? Hope you all enjoyed this as much as I did. This was totally awesome. In my opinion, Havoc's got nothing on this race. This was so much fun to watch. Um, even though we're here on the Havoc grounds and, you know, Ben, Brooke, Matt, Gray, Nick, everybody put this on for us. This was the best racing I have seen up here on this piece of property. Um, I'm so excited about this. I said myself that I would never do heads up, but <laughs> this is so awesome. Um, I want to thank Jeff 100%. Jeff Noggle for letting us borrow that buggy. Um, Jeff has been a big part of our team for a long time. Um, we loaned him a buggy last year, two years ago, two years, one, whatever it was. He He's so good for the sport. Um, Katie and him are great people. His kids are awesome. Um, this property up here, this is our passion. Um, I've s lost so much money doing this crap <laughs> <laughs> by not sticking my nose into the business and just simply sitting in the shop because I got bit by the bug. Um, we're excited with all of this that's happening and excited to see all you guys here. Um, it's freaking cold, 
but this was by far the most fun that I've had on this piece of property watching this crap, and I did not even race. So um, there ain't a whole lot to say about it. It speaks for itself. Ben, you guys killed it up here this weekend. Um, the fans were, were awesome. Uh, we're going to give two spots out uh, for Rage here in Big Tire. So Brent, obviously, you took first. And then uh, Joel, welcome to Rage if you accept. If you're going to be, you know, if you're going to show up, we'd love to have you. And uh, if you can't, your brother's going to be there. Yeah. So <laughs> it's going to go down the line. So um, we're happy to to work with Ben, uh, Brooke, Matt, Gray, Nick, every, every one of you guys and grow the sport. And uh, Axel Busters, Kyle, you guys are badass. Uh, you, you contacted me at Hammers. Uh, he is, he's, he's here, he's wanting help out. Super cool that this guy's coming down from Canada, putting money out for us drivers. I mean, we don't make a lot of money doing this crap. <laughs> we just spend money. We don't make any money doing this crap. It just costs us money, but super cool, Kyle, that you're doing this. Um, you know, Western Canadian Rockwell, all you guys that support this Havoc style racing, it's important to me. It's important to, you know, our style of racing, and uh, I appreciate all of you guys. So, you know, Colin, I got to spend time with him down at uh, Hammers. Colin with Max Straps, uh, he's, he's, as you can see, been a big support. Um, Am's Oil. Lane Groom, Patricia, all you guys. I don't know if I'm leaving anybody out, but I appreciate all you guys and what you do for our sport. We're going places, so thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks, Brett. All right, you guys, like I always tell you, uh, you know, we try to get this going, steer you in the right direction, but you guys are growing this with us, the vehicular violence, the Havoc style racing. We appreciate it. We have never put multiple people on the course. I don't think anybody's ever seen, truly, what we're about to uh, put out with videos. This is a first and uh, look forward to much more. So thank you very much. You guys are rad. <laughs> See you end of April, LCQ. Come on down, open wheeling, more Havoc qualifier. And uh, you know, be sure to check out the TV show now. It just dropped on Amazon Prime season two. So enjoy it, come be part of season three. Thank you. Maybe, maybe the co-dogs could go up there with the with these so we can take photos with the... Right. Yeah, let's get co-drivers up here, get some get pictures. Up, yeah. We're going to get Maddie Moon to do get a couple up, of interviews yeah. if we can talk her into it. And uh, thank you very much. Let's have some beer and have some fun. <laughs> I know, we all do.